<laughs> All right, we're back again for another whiskey review. As y'all can see, I'm still here with brother-in-law, yeah. old soft hands. Yeah. Why he's here Thanksgiving week? We trying to bang him out. This is our second one, back to back, yeah, bang, back to bang. back, just bang, knocking bang, him out. Bang. <laughs> so, <laughs> so today we are doing the 1792 foolproof. Mm. What that says? Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, 62.5 percent alcohol. God damn. 125 proof, ladies Jesus. and gentlemen. So this isn't the bottle I went. To total wine to get. Mm. So I went there looking for the 1792 small batch. Um, I read a few reviews and, and it looked interesting to me. I wanted to get it so we could try it. Mm -hmm. uh, but when I'm in there, a little young lady is sitting in there and she's she sees me looking at the small batch. She's like, hey, do yourself a favor and try that full bat, that foolproof instead. Yeah. You don't look like a small batch kind of guy. That's what she meant, right? You look like a full guy. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you're saying she don't like small. Yeah. She wants somebody to fill that thing up. That's right. You want to feel full. Yeah. Yeah. Seventeen ninety two. Seventeen ninety two. So that's why we got the full proof. <laughs> Went there for the small batch, came out with the foolproof. She might have, she might have got me on that one. Yeah. So, <laughs> but we're gonna try it. We're gonna give our honest opinion, and y'all can take it for what it's worth. So, the nose on this bad boy is boom. You should smell alcohol right off the bat. After that, dry oak, caramel, and vanilla. So. Just, just reading that, after the alcohol fumes go away, you ought, we ought to be getting some sweetness. Mm. What you think? Definitely get that oak. Uh, the caramel and vanilla, like it smells like brown sugar to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I agree. Mm -hmm. The sweetness. Of it, yes, uh, the caramel is what I'm smelling more of, kind of like you say, more of a brown sugar smell to it. And I think that other smell, like you say, is, a, is the oak mm -hmm. coming through. Um, doesn't smell bad, though. Yeah, um, like a candle. A candle? Mm-hmm. Yeah, if they made this in a candle, I'd buy it. Like if Yankee Candle yeah. made this, you would buy yeah. it and just light it up in the... Yeah. If it's small batch though, I don't want it. And you got to be yeah. the full, full proof. proof full <laughs> <laughs> so you don't like them small either, no, huh? It's got, and it's got to be a big candle. <laughs> <laughs> so the palate, the palate, sweet corn, cinnamon, syrup, soaked raisins, mm. dried cherries, and vanilla, and a lot of heat. They throw a lot of heat on there is what you're supposed to be tasting also. So not only do we smell alcohol with a sweetness finish, we should be tasting heat and sweet. Yeah. So let's see. What you think? I get the oak. Um, I can see why they say like syrup soaked raisins, mm -hmm. um, but to me, like when I taste this, it really reminds me of like Christmas with all the cinnamon okay. that I'm getting from it. Yeah. So the flavor reminds you of Christmas? Yeah. Waiting cinnamon. for Santa Claus to run yeah. and punch you in the fucking face? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe when I was like five. Um, the a lot of heat. Um, there is a little bit of heat to it. Maybe if we don't have a big ice cube on it, it might be a lot of heat. I could understand that. The sweetness does come through with all the 
the profiles that they were given, the, the cinnamon, the vanilla, the yeah. cherries, the raisins, it, it is. Um, There's a lot of flavors. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot yeah. going on. It's like a part in your mouth. So the finish should be the, the heat ramps up big time and is immediately, immediately noticeable the moment the finish starts and it's supposed to linger. Um, the back end is still there. Yeah. Uh, you can can taste the back end for a good while. Um, like parts of my mouth are burning that usually don't burn when I drink alcohol. Yeah. That's how that's how strong this thing is. It, it is yeah. relatively higher approved than than what we've done in the past mm -hmm. doing a whiskey reviews mm -hmm. you and I so uh, I could see that. Um, would you buy this again? Now the price point on this was about forty-five. Oof. It's under the fifty-dollar range. Um, it is a stronger, stronger one. Mm -hmm. A little more expensive than we have done in the past. Would you buy this again to enjoy? Um, so, if it was around the holidays like this time, I could see myself getting it. But like if I'm going to the store just looking for something to drink and something to drink on the regular, mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't get it. But for the holidays, like I said, it reminds me of Christmas, so I'd, I'd probably get it for Christmas. That's yeah. about it. Yeah. I agree. Me personally, this would not be a everyday drinker. Um, to me, it got a little too much kick to just sit there and, and me personally sip on and, and try to enjoy a relaxing day yeah. on a couch doing nothing, just want to drink just to relax or something. Uh, like you say, there's just too much going on, a little too much heat. So, yeah. But I wouldn't turn it down, but it wouldn't be my everyday drinker. Mm -hmm. So, hey, if y'all want to keep recommending, um, I, I, I'm listening to all the recommendations. Don't worry about that. I still have my running list of the alcohols that I want to do on here. It's just uh, the 1792 I wanted to do before uh, quite a few recommendations have been coming in. So, guys, don't think that y'all recommendations aren't making a list. Don't worry. I'm uh, keeping a list of the ones we're going to do. So, Y'all keep coming them in until then. Keep sending the recommendations and cheers.